Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to use Microsoft OneNote. It's a digital notebook from Microsoft where you could organize all your notes, all your thoughts in one place with an easy way to find anything you take a note of. I'll show you exactly how it's laid out in the app and we'll go through some of the most important features of the app. But it's basically organized in three simple ways. You have your notebook on top, Inside of notebook, you have your sections and inside each sections, you have different pages. So we'll create this hierarchy inside the app once we download the app. It also has ways to draw and sketch for yourself. You could also share and collaborate with other people on the same note, and you could read more about it on onenote.com here. And I'll put a link in the description for it and you could get it for Mac or PC. So even if you have a Mac and this is made by Microsoft, it is available in the App Store. So to get started, you could go ahead and sign up here. I'm on a Mac here, so I'm gonna go to the App Store to download it here for myself. Just search the App Store for OneNote and this is it here and I downloaded it and I'm gonna press open here. And let me go through the opening pages and press get started. And again, you'll have to create a Microsoft account to get started. So even if you're setting it up here or in Windows, the same process applies where you have to sign in or create an account. I already have a Microsoft account here, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign into my Microsoft account here. And you don't need an Office membership here. This is a standalone free app. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. And now I'm all signed in. I'm gonna press start using OneNote. So this is Microsoft OneNote here. And let me show you over here in this section, the hierarchy of how things work. So on the very top here, you have notebook. That's this column over here. And then next to it, you have your sections and inside your sections, you have pages. You could also create sub pages where I'll show you at some point. That's the fourth step in this hierarchy here. But let's start here in the notebook section and create our first notebook. So I have this notebook option highlighted. It's putting me under notebook here and I could just press create notebook right here, add a notebook. And I could start with my first notebook. To do that, I'll just press new here. Now I could choose the color of my notebook here. So let me just go ahead and choose this blue one. And over here, you could go ahead and name your notebook. So let's say this was for class, but this is really good for studying, for business. I'm gonna set this up for business, but this is great for people in high school, in college. It's good for personal notes. You could use it to organize your thoughts, your family recipes, anything really that could benefit from this hierarchy organization. But let's call this business ideas here. Underneath that, it says where. So you have OneDrive, it's a personal account, it's a cloud storage from Microsoft that everybody gets. And I believe you get about five gigabytes of storage for free. And if you're just doing notebooks, that should be plenty of space to get you started. But you could always upgrade this later and pay for it. But let's go ahead and press create now. And now we have our notebook created here. So again, if I click here, it's gonna show me the different notebooks we have. So by default, I already had one, but now I have the business idea notebook. And underneath that, now I'm in the section area. So if I click add a section here, we'll add a section. This is called section two by default. At any time you could go ahead and right click or on a Mac control click here to rename something. So I'll just type this marketing. And then inside of that, so inside of the section, your pages will be the next thing you wanna add. And I'll just go ahead and add a page. And again here, I'll go ahead and rename this page and then I'll name it Facebook Ads. So underneath business idea, which is the notebook, I have a section called marketing and then I have a page inside of that called Facebook Ads. So now inside of Facebook Ads, this is how simple it is to add anything. So I could just call this ad number one so I just basically clicked and started typing. The cool thing about this is you could click anywhere and start typing again and then again. So you get the idea here where you could jump around and then once you do type, you could remove each section by placing it anywhere. So you could kind of really use this open canvas here. Unlike Microsoft Word where formatting freely like this is not available, you could always go ahead and make it available like this. And these boxes you could always reshape by grabbing the corner here and making them bigger and smaller. So let's say this was my first Facebook ad here, then I could bring this here. I could at any time go ahead and select, delete. Let's say this was the targeting that I wanted for my ads. Press enter will give you a line, but if you just click away, you could just get out of this box and you could move this box anytime you want. 
So it's that simple to do things like formatting within in this page. And if you've ever used Microsoft Word or Google Docs, you basically could select any text here and here are your formatting options. So here's your font option. You could just go ahead and choose from different fonts here. You have your font size here. You could go ahead and increase that. Bold, italic, underlined. All the things you're probably used to here. You could go ahead and highlight the text, change the color of that highlight, change the text color itself. You have your alignment here. So if you want it to center align, it will do that within that box that you created, not other sections here. So that's the alignment here. And then you have your bullet points, your numbering system here your indentation if you wanted to do that. And then you could always clear all formatting with pressing this to go back to the original formatting. But those are your options over here. And if you hover over each one, it's gonna give you a little description of what you're looking at here. So now you should have a clear understanding of the hierarchy from notebook to sections to pages and how to format everything within this page. If you're going to use other computers or collaborate with other people, which I'll show you in a second, just make sure that you come to file and you sync this notebook. You could always press file and sync all notebooks. So if you're using a mobile app, for example, and you want the two to sync together, that's how you sync them. It does by itself sync from time to time, but if you wanted to force it to sync, you could go ahead and do that here in the menu. Let's look at a couple other things here. This was all under the home section. So all these formatting options, all these were under the home section. But if you go to insert, this part of the page, the hierarchy does not change. But now under that page, you have some options here. So first you could insert different tables. This is very much like Microsoft Word. So let's say I wanted to do a four by four table here. It inserted it within the line. I could always press Command Z or go to edit and undo to go back. So I just went back. So I'll just create a new box here and then I'll go to insert and then let me insert that table here in its own box. So it's not interfering with what I've already created. And then anything you want to type in here, you can, it's pretty simple. Just click and type. You could always resize it just like the other boxes that you had before. And you could always insert in the table. So by default, since I'm in table mode, you jump to table. Let me go back to insert here. Let's go ahead and click somewhere new. Now, if I wanted to add pictures, I could click that and add any picture I wanted to add. I have PDF printout, file attachment, links, equations, all those options are here. So you could explore those and you could always insert date and date and time here. Those are your options here. And next to that, there are some symbols. So if you select, let's say I selected this arrow here, I could just click here to create that and I could go ahead and easily resize it so I could basically create myself anything I wanted to. And when I created the shape, here's a bunch of different options that I have that's connected to that here. And as you could see, every time you have home insert, draw and view, but when you come into a new page, it creates this tab for you. So if I go to insert and if I click away here, that option goes away. So I'm back to these options that I had here. Now, let me go to draw mode here. This is a really cool way to gather your thoughts. So let me just go ahead and go to this notebook and I'm gonna name this my advertising flow here. So now if you wanted to just use a marker, for example, I could just jump over here. You see eraser, pen, marker, highlighter. I'll go ahead and choose a marker. So it's blue, it's about 1.5 millimeters thick and this is what it looks like if I drew on there. Let me go ahead and press Z. But you could basically create yourself different shapes and different flows here. So let's say number one, was going to go to number two, and that will go to number three. You get the idea here. You could just kind of get your thoughts in order with a visual representation. You have different colors that you could choose here, red, green, black. You have your highlighter here, so a section of the text that you like, you could go ahead and highlight. And you could always choose the lasso tool here and select around something like this and then it will let you move that section just like that. So if you wanted to remove a section from somewhere, that's the lasso tool. And as always, make sure you come back to text mode so you could select and move things a different way. Let's go to the last box here, view. And view just lets you basically look at your notebook in different ways here. So you could create a new window here. So you have two windows if you wanted to look at two notebooks. You could look at deleted notes. You could zoom in and out into your notebook here. You could change your page percentage view here to from 100% if you zoom in. You have some color and style here. So if you wanted lines, for example, on your page, if you preferred this kind of page, that's how you would do that. And you could always password protect your page as well. And now let me go back to the home page here and everything is saved. So as you could see up here just now, it started syncing here. So from time to time, it will sync 
on a Mac here, I could press command S2 to force it to do that. That's what I showed you in the file menu. And once this gets more crowded, all you would have to do is, for example, if you wanted to change your order of the pages, you just click it and drag it on top here. It's that simple to change the order of things. You could do the same thing with your sections here. And if you click this, you could do the same thing with your notebook, clicking one and making the other one be, be on top. It's super simple to go ahead and change the order of things. So I purposely skipped a page here under the home section. So go to home and go to one of your pages that you created and look at the section of all these different things that you could do. One of my favorites is to do. If you press to do, you could just create a to-do list for yourself. Item two, item three, pick up milk. So you get the idea here and you could go ahead and check them off as you do use them. That's a great option here from your to-do, remember for later, contacts, addresses, definitions, phone numbers. Look at all these options that you have here. There is even more books to read, for example. It will create a to-do list for yourself, movie to see. It will give you this icon. So there's a lot to explore in this little section over here. If you press this arrow, you could see all of them here. And check this out. If you have anything selected here, like I'm gonna go over here on this, I could go ahead and use this to tag different things. So definition or important, I could go ahead and give it a star here. If I click on the next one, I could make this a definition or remember for later, and it highlights it that way. This is tagging, and you could use the search option here on the left side, press that, and you could go ahead and see all the tags that you have. So if you had a bunch of to-do lists in different notebooks, you could click that, and then it will show you what you have selected here. Let me go ahead and exit out of there. I'll go ahead and see movie to see and see what I selected here. And I haven't done any of these tags, but you get the idea here of what you could do with these tags. The search option is a great way to look for anything that you've typed in here. So let me go ahead and look for my ads, press search, and then go under pages here to see where I wrote that right there. It's gonna show up, and this is not the tag option, but this is just a simple search within my pages, within my notebooks and sections. And the last thing I wanted to show you here is collaborating with different people. So let me go to back to my notebook, and let's say the Facebook ad, I wanted to get a couple other people's input on it. So I'll go to file up here, and I'll choose share, and then I'll say invite people to the notebook. I could also send just a page in an email or a PDF, but let's say this whole marketing business idea notebook was all I wanted to share with someone, so I could press that. I could type in their email and a message, and I could simply send it and give them the option to edit. Make sure this is checked on. If you want them to edit, if not, just check it off so they could just view it, but they will get access to this entire notebook. So make sure you organize everything accordingly from notebook to section to pages so they could get clear linear access to everything like that. So that's under file and share. You could always save as PDF as well. And many of the things we talked about are up here in the menu for Mac or PC. So a lot of the things like creating new sections and pages and inserting tables and pictures are all part of this menu as well. I hope you found this OneNote tutorial useful. There's a lot more to dive in, but this should give you a basic overview to get started. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for daily tech videos, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.